How big can earthquakes get? Well, the largest recorded earthquake was a 9.5 on the Richter scale, and it hit near Valdivia, Chile on May 22, 1960. Seismic waves could be measured all across the globe. Chimneys fell through roofs, people fell to the ground, unable to get up, and cracks opened up in the street so wide that they could swallow a full-grown adult. Over 1,400 people died, another 2 million were left homeless, and 58,622 houses were completely demolished. Shortly after, tsunamis hit coastlines all around the Pacific Ocean. In Chile, the waves were 25 meters tall. 10,000 kilometers across the ocean, waves as high as 10.7 meters hit Japan and the Philippines. Two days later, the Koronkai volcano began erupting, and there were several smaller aftershock earthquakes. The largest earthquakes, like this one, occur on subduction zones, where one tectonic plate slides underneath another one. Scientists call it a megathrust earthquake. On the coast of Chile, the Nazca Plate slides underneath the South American Plate along a 1,000-kilometer or 620-mile fault line. Can a quake like this occur again in the future? Absolutely. Scientists predict that an even bigger quake could shake the northwestern United States. The subduction zone along the edge of the Juan de Fuca Plate is overdue for some action, an anticipated earthquake nicknamed the Big One. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos about volcanoes, tectonic plates, and other cool science that you didn't even know was a thing.